pesticide exposure is a big problem in beekeeping today, especially because of the possibility of synergistic effects. Beekeeping in the past was easy. Find a good location, establish your apiary, and done. You could go fishing and hunting and come back later to collect the benefits of Mother Nature. Today, there are so many random events that come and go that makes harder and harder every day for beekeepers. Consistency is gone. And in today's video, I want to talk about something that I believe is an important contributor for this problem the synergistic effect of pesticides. I'm Umberto Bon Cristiani and this is Inside the Hive.tv, the show that takes you into the world of bees. If you like bees and want to know more about them, please consider to subscribe and also hit the bell button so you don't miss a single video. How the toxicity of a pesticide is calculated? A standard procedure to calculate toxicity is to calculate what they call lethal dose 50 or LD50. In this procedure, you expose bees to increased concentration of a pesticide in a laboratory conditions until you reach the concentration that kill 50% of the bees exposed. This is the number that tells you how toxic a pesticide is. The lower the number, more toxic it is. What is synergistic effect? Synergistic effects between compounds happen when the toxicity of a pesticide combination is greater than the toxicity of the each individual compound in the mixture. In other words, 1 plus 1 is not 2 as expected, could be 10, 1000 or even more. In honeybees this is well documented. For example, in 2013, Dr. Reed Johnson today at Ohio State University published an article that, in my opinion, is a slap in the face to anyone that rejects the idea that pesticides can be a problem. I encourage everyone to read this article. There are plenty of good information there, link in the description below. Dr. Reed Johnson measures several interactions between well-known miticides constantly used in beekeeping operations and pesticides using in the agro-industry, for example, fungicides and other chemicals. In this article, Dr. Johnson describes that tau fluvalinate, a miticide commonly used in beekeeping operations, has a LD50 of 19.8 micrograms per bee. He also describes that LD50 of comaphos, another miticide used in it by beekeepers, is 31.2 micrograms per bee. However, when tau fluvalinate is in the presence of only 3 micrograms of comaphos, the LD50 of tau fluvalinate drops from 19.8 to only 0.78 micrograms per bee, meaning that in this case tau fluvalinate is 25 times more powerful to damage bees. Let me give you another good example that you can find in this article. The same tau fluvalinate has its LD50 dropping from 19.8 to only 0.01 micrograms per bee in the presence of only 10 micrograms of a fungicide called Blochorax. You might think, be thinking that Blochorax might be super toxic to bees. Actually, no. Blochorax LD50 is 14.89. In this case, Telflovalinate is 2,000 times more powerful to kill bees in the presence of that fungicide. What is the problem here? The problem is that regulatory agencies approve a use of a drug based on the toxicity of the individual compounds and not based on any interaction or combination that might occur. So you think you're safe in applying a product, but if there is anything else there, there is the possibility that you can get very unpleasant surprises. Dr. Christopher Mulling in 2010 demonstrated that there are hundreds of pesticides that can accumulate on a honeycomb. Honeybees are exposed to so many different things when they're foraging. Just a simple calculation so you can understand the problem here. To test 100 pesticides in a subset of 5, you end up with 75 million possible combinations to be tested. For that, you need 
probably all these United States do to achieve that. Regulatory agencies cannot test all possible combinations of a drug interaction to approve a new drug. It's too expensive. It's too much labor. They will never do it. In my travels visiting several beekeepers all over the United States and abroad, I constantly meet very serious, organized, knowledgeable beekeepers with decades of experience that comes to me saying that terrible things happen in their apiary and they have absolutely no clue what happens. Some even confess that they stop talking because they feel embarrassed. They say that people are going to judge them as bad beekeepers and nobody's going to believe them. What a situation. The synergistic effect of pesticides can clearly be linked to cases like that. We apply a product and the product interact with something else in the surroundings and boom, you have a whole apiary dead. And please, don't think in that you're safe because you're using something natural. Synergistic effect can occur with any chemical, anything. Any chemical can trigger a synergistic effect like that. Have you experienced some sort of mystery events in your apiary? Have you heard someone describing something crazy going on? Would you mind to share it here? Please leave your story in your comment section below. These stories like that help to guide research directions sometimes. That might help. I hope this was useful. Good luck out there, fellow beekeepers. If you like this video, please hit the like button. That helps a lot to keep doing them for you. Also share with friends and family, they might have a story to tell here. Subscribe if you didn't already and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks for watching Inside the Hive.TV, the show about bees.